In this video, we will be studying the objectives of government budget. The first objective is like why a government presents the budget, why there is need and what are the objectives behind the government to give the budget. Number one is redistribution. of income and wealth see in India there is unequal distribution of income and wealth so what government do is to poor they give subsidies and from rich people they charge the taxes so they are withdrawing money money from rich people and they are giving this money to the poor sections so through tax and subsidies government help to redistribute the income and wealth through budget as the budget tells how much tax and from uh, what are the sources of the tax which the government will able to earn and where the government will give the subsidies uh, this all is mentioned in the government budget so this is the first objective that is redistribution of income and wealth the second objective government has is reallocation of resources you see what happens is your private enterprise private companies they have the objective of profit maximization So they use the resources to maximize profit. But what government do is they restrict, impose some restrictions on the private companies and force them to shift their objective from profit maximization to social welfare. So in this uh, way, the government helps in reallocation of resources from the profit maximization to the social welfare through the budget so the private enterprise will always desire to allocate resources to those areas of production where the profits are high it is possible that such areas of production may not promote social welfare such as uh, you can take the example of alcohol see alcohol production gives you a higher profit but this is not socially accepted this is not for the social welfare so through its budgetary policy, the government of the country directs the allocation of resources in a manner such that there is a balance between the profit maximization and social welfare. So this way, government helps the reallocation of resources. The third one is the economic stability. See, there is a business cycle. We all know we are reading this business cycle from our junior classes. That is your recession. Depression. then recovery and then boom and then again recession so this is the trade cycle which goes on right so this you also call as trade cycle or business cycle So what government do? Government take the 
measures in the budget and helps to avoid this business cycle and trade cycle. The government of a country is always committed to save the economy from the business cycle. Budget is used as an instrument policy, important policy instrument to combat the situation of deflation and inflation. By doing it, the government tries to achieve the state of economic stability. State of economic stability by controlling inflation and deflation. The fourth objective is managing public enterprises. See, we know that what is the condition of public sector companies in India. So, with the budget, government helps to manage the public enterprises to increase the growth through the public enterprises. So, government has invest more on the public enterprises. It helps to increase the growth. through public enterprises. Because the public enterprises, the government have full control on the public enterprises, so government can easily manage the supply and the prices from the public enterprises and ultimately achieve the social welfare goal. So these are the four objectives of the government budget. Now we'll be studying about budget and fiscal, fiscal discipline. See, the budget ensures an overall fiscal discipline in the economy. Now, what is fiscal discipline? When your revenues and expenditure of the government are balanced, then it is a situation of fiscal discipline so it refers to a state of an ideal balance between revenues and expenditure of the government It calls for unnecessary check on the expenditures in view of the limited revenues. Of the government. See, it is very important to store the fiscal discipline, although it is never stored. But yes, always the main objective of the budget is that the fiscal discipline is restored in the economy, that is, the revenues are equal to the expenditures. So, but if fiscal deficit is not maintained, the economy is driven to a situation where the expenditure exceeds your see when your expenditure exceeds your revenue. So this is the situation of fiscal deficit when your expenditure is equal to revenue it is a situation of fiscal discipline
Now what happens if expenditures are more than the revenue that you are in the situation of fiscal deficit? deficit? The government will go to the RBI and borrow the loan. Right? So this will, what will happen? There will be the more supply of money. in economy see supply is more people have more money in their hands but they do not have the demand means the demand is less so what will happen this will increase the price means higher costs and higher wages everything will increase the price so this will be a situation of inflation inflation is actually a increase in the journal price of the commodity see if a rupee one used to buy you four candies 10 years ago now rupee one can buy you only one candy so this is the worth of rupee now this is the inflation in the economy so i hope you have completely understood the objectives of government budget do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us